So in that kind of a scenario, what are you doing? I know what you're doing, say, at like our Planned Parenthood, you're, you would still be there. But what are you doing in states that are these abortion destination states now? Uh, you know, more uh, you could call them abortion havens, if you will. Right, what are right. you reallocating resources to these locations? Yeah, we're spending a lot of time with them to try to figure out how we can best serve women from out of state. You know, on okay. the ground, we're referring to the pregnancy center in town because trying to get her into the arms of someone who can do that crisis management, even share that spiritual message with her. If we didn't get a chance on the sidewalk, that's so important. And then we're trying to have a continuum of a continuum of care back home. So she may start at the local pregnancy center there. And then through, you know, optionline.org, pregnancydecisionline.com, you know, we have Heartbeat International and uh, uh, CareNet that operate these great, you know, systems all over the country of pregnancy centers. We can easily kind of continue that care through those resources. Um, but it's a tall order. When a woman has come all the way across state lines, it's a harder yeah. sell. And so we're yeah. actually looking at maybe covering travel back home or other things that may get her to pause just that much more. Gotcha.